Hey, you're listening to WSCA 106.1 FM, Portsmouth's Community Radio. It's 12 o'clock on a Monday, which means it's time for Seacoast Business Connections Radio Show. And I'm your host, Mark Miller. I'm here with my Pixel Media co-host team, TJ and Eric. How are you guys doing? What's Mark? How are you doing? Well, we've got another um, stellar guest. Goes this another guy that goes old school, uh, new known since Cabletron. Uh, Cabletron. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin McCann. Do we Kevin really go back 20 plus years? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of scary. And by the way, he looks exactly the same, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't changed <laughs> at all. Um, but Kevin, I've known since, I mean, I worked at Cabletron, what, early 90s? So must have yeah. met then. And literally out of college, we were all doing SDR, right? That's Sales right. development <laughs> representative. And it, it was another fancy word for telemarketing. Yeah. And then if you did well at that, you got to inside sales. Yep. If you did well at that, you got to outside that's, sales. And yep. that's the track you took. Yep. Um, do you see that model now anymore, or is it sort of fragmented? People outsource their telemarketing, and they do email. You know, there's so many different yeah. things. Do you uh, see that inside question. companies? We, we, I, I do, and I think I, I don't see it enough. I think um, you know, in technology, technology is changing. So the days of going and hiring a, a sales guy and paying him six figures out of the gate to go and schlep boxes that you know, to, to everyone's point here, uh, are already commoditized. It's tough, mm. so that that model doesn't pan out. So now, with everything you got with doing, you know, uh, demos on a tablet or PC or what have you, um, you can have a, a more fortified inside sales team and still have that presence with the customer that you never used to have. Right. So that would lower the cost of sales. But what also is happening now, especially in technology, is that to hit the same numbers that you had, like we we're talking about, a six million or sixteen or eighteen million dollar run rate. You have to do almost twice, if not three times, four times as much business as you did before, transaction-wise. Because if my margin point is at 10% or 12%, and that you know that that's dropped based on the average spend of, of these, these you're talking about this hardware, technology, specific, hardware, whatever, hardware, yeah. even but even managed services. So you get guys saying, all right, instead of selling products, I'm going to go sell managed services because it's a recurring revenue model. Well, hooray, we all like that. But instead of having the opportunity to sell a fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollar hardware deal, I now sell a twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar per month right. service. It takes a while to yeah. Yeah. exactly. So now you got to do twenty more of those. So the problem is, is how do they crank out more marketing, more communication on a regular basis when they were already bad at it in the hardware side? Yeah. So that's that's a problem that we solve actually right now. Yeah. Step back a little bit. So what sure. I know we talked about Cabletron and sure. sales and we sort of dived right into methodologies and all sure. this deeply intellectual stuff. What is it that you're doing right now? Because you mentioned there was a side comment yeah. in, in the middle of an answer where you said, that's what we do right now. And yeah. it was after you talked about uh, pipeline uh, thrashing yeah. uh, questions <laughs> and things like that. So kind of what are you up to right now and kind of sure. w- where are you applying your skills? So uh, so after I came back from Silicon Valley in 2000, started my own reseller, uh, a company called Cortex that I ran for five years, grew it to a few million in revenue through a pretty tough time, you know, through the, the downturn in the economy. And we, we created a different value proposition, which I can tell you guys about later. But I took that company, merged it into a company called Focus Technology Solutions yeah, in Seabrook. Yeah. And uh, in 2007, I started the executive strategy group to try to consult with other tech companies on all the stuff we're talking about here, mm-hmm. how to drive revenue, integrate strategy, marketing, and sales. And at the time, I had it that this is, this is great for me. First of all, I get away from selling boxes. But mm-hmm. second of all, um, I get to teach these people how to fish. I got to teach other CEOs how to do what we did in the Silicon Valley stuff that we did and all that stuff. So show up, you know, done hundreds of these engagements. And uh, the way, what we typically do is we provide them with a written recommendation document that shows, you know, here's where you are, here's where you want to be, here's the gap in between the two. We call it a value variance gap. Put together a written recommendation document and hand it to them and say, if you do these 57 things, your business will be on track. And they look at us and say, well, we don't really argue anything that you just put in this document, <laughs> but A, I don't have the time. Mm-hmm. B, I don't have the resources. I really don't even want to right. learn how to do this stuff. Can you, can you guys just, you guys just this, do this the, stuff for us? The desirability yeah, is gone it's just, down. Oh, it's gone. So then it took some of the wind out of our sails. It's like, well, okay, so yeah, we can do that for you, but now I've got a deep dive into one engagement, and I wanted to scale my business. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm up to now for the last two years, we've created a model where we can effectively do that for our clients, lead gen, nurturing, outbound mm-hmm. communications, back into funnel stuff where you may have a great customer base and you're not touching them. 
and they just leave because of indifference. Like, wow, well, I forgot and about you. Is that in the VAR, the, uh, the IT VAR space? I forgot about it, you. It, it is. It, it's, uh, it's in the VAR space, tech space. We've got, uh, you know, companies from a million in revenue to 300 million in revenue on our system. Mm-hmm. So it, it does span quite a bit, but, but our, our knitting, I guess you could say, is in that tech space. We know the VAR model very well. Mm-hmm. We know the the manufacturers. A lot of the manufacturers out there actually will pay us to do what we're doing for those VARs. Yep. So there's a there's a win all the way around. All the way around. VARs happy, manufacturers happy. We're happy. Value prop is pretty simple, right? It's increased revenue. It's you yeah. got it. Decreased cost of well, cost of sales. Right? Yeah. Do you want a yeah. bunch of business? We'll give it to you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Well, awesome. Good. Well, we're up at the end of our time. Is there anything that? You guys want to add before we close out? I appreciate you coming by. It's Thanks. awesome. Yeah, I was always nice. intrigued to hear that me. stuff. Yeah, yeah. How do no. how do people get a hold of you if they want to? A um, couple ways they could they could go to uh, actually you can see our our, our website is uh, executivestrategygroup.com. dot mm-hmm. and then the site we launched for lead launcher is lead dash launcher dot com. Nice. So that's that service delivered so by out. Executive Strategy Group. Beautiful. Nice. And they'll yeah. connect with you directly one yep. way or another? Yeah, sure. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Awesome. Well, Kevin, I appreciate it. It's so timely. I Thanks. mean, everybody, this is a problem challenge everybody has. Yeah. Anybody in small business is looking to get more business, but I think more targeted business. Yes. You know, I think they want people want to get down in a narrower niche. Yep. Um, this is also the time of year everyone's thinking about next year. what next year is yeah, going to yeah. be like. Yeah, yeah. coming and, out of the gate swinging. Right. Well, it's kind of interesting because it doesn't matter how often you talk about it. This is the time of year people <laughs> tend to get serious about it. It's kind of yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for. It was awesome. Kevin. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mark Briggs. All right. Mark, back Thank to you. Appreciate it. Well, this is, uh, thanks guys for listening. This is Seacoast Business Connections Radio Show. I'm your host, Mark Miller, thanking Kevin, Eric, and TJ for a great show. Thanking you guys for listening and reminding you to do good business until we uh, talk to you again next Monday at noon. Tune in. Thank you.